Welcome back. I'm Garrett and this is You've Got This. Today we are going to talk about your basic suction prosthetic legs. Um, if you've watched recent episodes in the past, you've seen how quickly and easily I can take off my new leg because it doesn't have a sleeve. It just has a button and I pull it off. Um, with suction systems though, you got a sleeve and it's bulkier. Um, I mean, you can see, here's my leg. You can see the extra material um, between the socket, the sleeve, all of that. Um, that said, it's simple. It's functional. It gets the job done without moving parts. Um, they're great. So that said, I wanted to kind of show um, what's involved with taking one of these on and off. Because taking it on and off, um, you probably aren't gonna do it a whole bunch, but you know, so I roll that down. I've added, this could be like a t-shirt sleeve or anything. Um, in this case, I've used um, a part from an old system I had. I had a whole bunch of these. Um, I just peeled it off um, and then use electrical tape to hold it on down here at the bottom. Well, now that's gonna be hard to put back on, but so the electrical tape holds it on. Um, so this protects the sleeve um, from the carbon so it doesn't get holes in it and wear out because when your knee bends, it stretches and expands over that and eventually it fails. Um, you get new sleeves every six months or so, give or take. Um, they're designed to wear out, just part of the deal. Um, so that's it. So then, it comes off, um, no pin or anything. I have a bunch of socks on in this case because this is an older socket, my leg is shrunk. Um, so the socks uh, fill up the extra space in the socket. Um, in this case, so this sleeve is pretty long, um, which is what I prefer because they stay on better. Um, because you get more connection, more surface area, more coverage. Uh, this is going to take me a second. So we'll look at, this is a, one of the longer sleeves I've got. Um, this one's probably still pretty long, uh, but you can see it's got about an extra inch and a half, two inches that go up your thigh and give you a better seal because there's more surface area. And so that means you're less likely that when you sit down, um, that like a small gap will open just because it's, it just happens, right? It flexes and then a gap opens, releases the air pressure that you so carefully had when you put it on. Um, and you got to kind of readjust, you know, roll down your sleeve, put your leg, really back in, roll your sleeve back up. Um, so shorter ones are nice in that less of your leg is covered up. So with issues like sweat and temperature and heat, um, it's nicer to wear less, just like wearing shorts versus wearing pants. Same kind of difference. However, in this case, there's a big trade-off because you lose a little bit of security. Um, a good friend, he was saying he keeps two sets. Uh, so he has one set of sleeves, uh, sorry, liners, not sleeves, liners that he cuts really short. So they're just above the top of the socket, which um, in his case, because it's not suspension, his is vacuum. Um, basically that's his security. So the shorter uh, your liner, let me get this right, the shorter your liner is, the less surface area you have on your body. So if you're sweating and only this much is in contact, it's not gonna take much for it to slip off. Whereas if it goes all the way up your leg, a lot more sweat and slippage has to happen for it to come off. And so um, in his case, he keeps two sets. One set short so that he can wear it around the house or when he knows he's not gonna be sweating. And then if he's gonna go on a long run or do something really active, he wears the really long ones. It's hotter, but it gives you a better fit. 
Um, and so that's the main benefit there. So um, longer sleeves give you better fit, but they're hotter. Uh, kind of the same thing with your liners, depending on your system. Um, ooh, here's my current kind of daily driver. And you'll see it goes up pretty high. I haven't cut them. I've left them the same length. Um, and then if you compare these two, uh, you'll see, you know, I've got them an extra couple inches here um, on these liners versus the old ones because the old ones, these were more reliant on the sleeve and the sleeve would come up high enough. Um, and it wasn't a problem. So that's kind of the quick rundown. Um, here's Mac. Hey Mac, you wanna say hi? Come here. Nope. Um, anyways, that's Mac. Uh, that's the quick rundown on uh, suction-based suspension systems. And that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Garrett, and you've got this.